Calvary Chapel San Jose gained national attention during the peak of the pandemic for ignoring local and state health orders on capacity limits, masking and social distancing. The county responded by hitting them with a number of fines. But this week, the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled in favor of the church, overturning more than $200,000 in court fines. Legal analyst Dean Johnson says the ruling was guided by precedent, created by what most see as an increasingly conservative Supreme Court. The case is itself a, a, a ramification of what the Supreme Court has done, and it will have uh, implications uh, far beyond this, this single case. And this isn't the end of the fight. The county says in a statement the ruling does not affect its enforcement action against Calvary, saying the church didn't dispute numerous other violations during the height of the pandemic before vaccines were available. Adding, we will continue to hold Calvary accountable for putting our community's health and safety at risk. And we are proud of the county's proactive efforts throughout the pandemic to save lives. Johnson, who has no direct connection to the case, says the debate over public health versus religious freedom is very likely to end up in the nation's highest court. The Supreme Court may ultimately have to face the argument that it has avoided literally for centuries, which is, um, can we as a court um, sit and decide what is a valid religious claim and what is not a valid religious claim? The church denied our request for an interview today. The county is still seeking $2.8 million in other fines from the church. And tomorrow, health officer Dr. Sarah Cody will be deposed as part of that lawsuit. In San Jose, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News. Ian, thank you.